So, uh, this is nuclear chemistry, writing reactions. And nuclear transportation is the conversion of one element into another. Um, and there are a couple ways that this can happen, via transmutation reaction or nuclear decay. For transmutation reaction, there are two forms, fission and fusion. For nuclear decay, there are six ways that you can create a new element. Alpha decay, beta decay, positron emission, electron capture, gamma ray emission, and spontaneous uh, fission. Technically, gamma ray emission does not create a new element, uh, but it is a form of nuclear decay. All nuclear transmutations always obey two funda uh, fundamental conservation laws. First, that the mass number is conserved, and second, that the electrical charge is conserved. So mass and charge are always conserved. So here's the periodic table, and we're, we're going to blow up the neon square. And in the neon square, you see that the atomic number is 10. So there are different isotopes that make up the mass number, which is why it's a decimal. Let's talk about um, neon 20, uh, which would be a mass of 20. So the mass of the isotope would be 20. That's the top number in the isotopic label here. The number of protons, which is the charge, uh, would be the 10. So that's the 10 here. Now, that's how we write an isotopic label. So let's talk about an actual nuclear transformation reaction. Here is the fission of uranium. Um, what you see here is we have a single neutron being fired at a uranium-235 nucleus. Upon collision, the uranium-235 splits into barium-141 and krypton-92. So I'm going to bring up the different element uh, squares from the periodic table. And what you see is that uranium has 92 protons, barium has 56, and chromium, uh, krypton has 36. Okay? So when we write out the reaction, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we include everything that's in the actual reaction. So we have one neutron. So the symbol for neutron is little n, and the mass number is 1. The charge for a neutron is zero because it's a neutral charge. That plus 235.92 uranium, isotopic label for uranium. The mass is 235. The um, charge or number of protons is 92. And the U for the symbol gives us, that's what the arrow means, gives us 141.56 barium. Mass is 141 as it states in the problem. Uh, 92, 36 krypton, and 3, 1, 0 neutrons. So when we write that out, what you see is that the mass is conserved. Because you take 1 plus 235, that will equal 236. Those are the mass numbers on the left side of the arrow. And 141 plus 92 plus 3 times 1, because there are 3 neutrons, gives us 236. So the mass number is conserved and the charge is conserved. Uh, we have 0 plus 92 equals 92 and 56 plus 36 plus 3 times 0 equals 92. So we have 92 on both sides of the arrow. Uh, so charge is conserved. Um, so that, let's try another one of these. Um, we'll do the alpha decay of Astatane 210. So Astatane 210 will undergo alpha decay. So here is a picture of alpha decay. And when Astatane 210 undergoes alpha decay, we uh, will produce bismuth 206 and helium 4. So those will be our two products. So let's bring up the element uh, cards or periodic table blocks for these elements. Remember, mass will have to be conserved, charge will have to be conserved when we write out the reaction. So we got 210-85 acetane gives us 206-83 bismuth and 4,2 uh, helium. Again, mass numbers are on the top, charge numbers, which are the number of protons, are on the bottom. If you add up the tops, they're going to be the same on both sides of the arrow, so mass is conserved, add up the charges. The same on both sides of the arrow, so charges are conserved. Okay, so let's look at uh, another one. We got beta decay of one uh, xenon one thirty six. 
So when xenon-136 undergoes beta decay, it will produce cesium-136 and a beta, uh, beta particle. So here's the xenon block, here's the cesium block, and we're going to write out 136-54 xenon gives us 136-55 cesium. And a beta particle is negatively charged, so it's a zero, negative one, because it's a negatively charged beta particle. And beta has the f this fancy little symbol. So is mass conserved? Yes, mass is conserved because the mass is the, cha the same on both sides of the arrow. Remember, the mass is the top number. And charge is conserved because the charges are the same. 54 equals 55 minus 1. So they're the same on both sides of the arrow. Remember, whenever you write a nuclear trans uh, transmutation out, you have to conserve mass and charge. So mass and charge are always conserved.